Hi everyone and welcome to my place. I've had a request from Stephanie who would like me to help her do something for a centre place, a centre piece on her table. She wanted something that was stacked and she wanted to use, if possible, artificial red roses. Um, and I thought, well, actually this is a unique opportunity to show those who want to do something with fresh or artificial just how easy it is. Um, she wants something that's going to be easy to put together. It's in a really hot, and I think you said, where is it? Oh, Dubai. Ah, now I get it now that I'm reading it properly. Yes, of course you'll want to use something that's artificial. I did a wedding in Las Vegas a couple of years ago, and the wee bride, our dear daughter-in-law, wanted hydrangeas. Well, I was beside myself with grief over the hydrangeas because I just knew that with the heat in the desert, everything would just dry out, which they did. But fortunately, I was able to get the hydrangeas while I was there. But fortunately, I made up a, a um, an artificial bouquet exactly the same as a replica. And when she went to take a photograph, she had this that she could have as a backup. And I think it was used more than the real bouquet was. Okay, so you wanted it stacked, Stephanie. How's that? And you wanted it a little bit rustic. How's this for containers? These are beautiful terracotta vintage pots that I've found. If you haven't got access to these, what I suggest you do is to just get the terracotta pots and then paint the outs, wet them, and then paint the outside with natural yogurt put them in a damp place, not that there'll be something damp, much damp in Dubai but or Saudi, I'm sure you can find something, but just put that around them and then put them in a damp space and then that'll get your lovely colourway. The other way that you can do it is to mist your pots with water, use like a sage green spray paint, spray the exterior of it and then get talcum powder and then dot that on the outside of it and then that will give you this lovely whitey finish on the pot easy peasy. I'll show you how to do that in due course. But anyway, you wanted something stacked. So what I've done is I've just put the foam level with this, the rim of the container. The next one goes on top. Push that down to make sure that it is on top and then push that onto the top of there. Now I've got a whole heap of artificial roses here because that's what you want. But for those girls that are want of you out there that want to have fresh, easily, easily achieved. And it's just a matter of getting your roses and then, oops, I want the ones with the leaves on around the bottom, getting your, your roses, cutting them all about the same length and then just quickly going around and inserting those around the rim of your container. I've been doing this type of arrangement for years and I really love it. It's a, it's a great standby design to have in the cupboard for if you're having somebody for dinner or you want to do quick, have something, just a little pop of colour or something nice on a coffee table or a dining table. They just always look great. Okay, from there, the next thing is to step it up and it is best to make sure that you have it all set up, like stacked up before you start so that you know exactly where you are going and having everything cut to the same length before you start just seriously makes life much much easier. The other thing is that with the flowers down the bottom, where's one with one more leaf in it, there it is, with having the flowers around the bottom and coming up the sides of the pot it actually adds a bit of stability to the design. Right, and that can go down into there like so. And then on the top, it's just a matter of getting all your short roses. And oops, now that's a bit tight. Now see what I mean by stopping and starting? I would rather have everything all cut before I even begin to do a design. So I don't, as I say, have to do that stopping and starting. Now the length of the flowers will determine, will be determined by how deep your containers are. So as a rule, what I do is I just usually go like that. Oh yeah, that's about right. So if the, the pot is two inches, cut them about an inch and a half. Right, I've got all of these roses running around there and I think I might just put one into the center to raise it. And I can see that there are the odd little holes or voids as they're called in the trade, which I'm just going to now fill in with an extra few roses. But and as I say, you're not going to know, I'm not, I can't tell how many roses you're going to need until you actually get into your display and start constructing because it'll depend 
on the size of your roses. But I really like that. Let me have a look at you. Oh, yes, you are nice. Simple, simple, simple designing. And the other thing that you could do, Stephanie, is you could actually get some little pots and have those scattered around or running along. Just even if you went to the next lot and had them so that they stepped down or clustered along your table. I hope that has been of assistance, Stephanie. I've enjoyed showing you how to do it. And I hope that you girls out there who want to do your own flowers have a crack at this. If you do, please send me a photograph. And if there are any, if there's anything that I can do to help you, just send me a Gmail, and that's for assesplace at gmail.com, and I will be here to help if I can. Thanks for watching. I'll see you another day.